Hello and welcome to part 29 of my Winch of Change video guide, Finding Jinai. Um, I'm using a concert here because I find this quest quite difficult. You might have a diff different experience though. Um, I, I don't know, in hard mode it's, um, it's quite challenging because there's a lot of enemies. So I would suggest in normal mode doing it in a completely different way. Um, I've linked the wiki page in the description and there on the on the right side there's a map of um, a graveyard location. In normal mode I would suggest just going to that graveyard, it'll give you a great way to funnel enemies and you can deal with them quite easily there. Um, the, the graveyard tactic will also work if you're playing as a melee character yourself, but since I'm playing as a caster, I really have no way to, to body block and tank enemies. Um, so basically, I'm, I'm more prone to enemy AoEs because I'm, I can't catch the enemies before they can get to my, um, to my backline. And that makes this a lot more challenging. Well, obviously, anything in this game is more challenging if you're not on a melee character, but... In this case, um, I would suggest if you're playing as a caster to try and follow roughly where I've gone. Um, this is one of the spawning locations of the enemy groups. And here you can catch them as they spawn and most of the time you'll only have one group to deal with, which you will, um, which you will outnumber. And sometimes a second group will join, in which case the numbers will be about even, but you should still be able to manage it quite well. And then, yeah, without a concept, you probably want to be a little more careful when finishing up the survivors. Um, I basically just ran in guns blazing here. Um, you can be a lot more careful and pull the enemies. As you'll see in the distance, um, in just a moment, that's where um, the remaining groups are. And they will be heading towards you as you come closer. So you'll really want to make sure to move very slowly forward and try and get them one or two groups at a time. Um, and here you'll notice that even with the concept, I'm uh, I'm engaging. That's probably four or maybe even five groups uh, simultaneously, and uh, yeah, that that will cause some issues eventually. But obviously, you know, concepts are strong, so there is that to consider. But it's definitely possible to do this quest without one. Um, I think I failed this three times before trying different tactics, so I just decided to save myself the hassle and just you know pop a concept, which. Uh, no shame in that. Um, basically, if it uh, if it saves you from from frustration, there there's really no reason not to do it. Um, I know there's some PVE players who are strongly opposed to consumables because they're somehow impure, but uh, I don't subscribe to that point of view. I'd say if it's available and it makes your life um, easier or in this case more enjoyable, then by all means go for it. Um, there's a lot of dialogue you have to sit through here. Again, no way to avoid this. I've um, I've sped it up a bit. As you can see from the movement of my minions, I think we're going at double speed here. But yeah, generally, again, not a very challenging quest. I would suggest bringing minions because there's just a ton of corpses around and you can deny the enemies their corpses that way. And you have some distractions to catch some AoEs. Um, it's nice to have, but obviously not mandatory. Um... Aside from that, no real... Yeah, there's nothing really specific. I found the location where I thought to be quite useful, I guess. 